Hi friends, Tanya here. For those of you new to our journey, my husband Daniel and I own a small family-run reindeer farm in the Columbia River Gorge in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. On April 15th, we had a very rare set of twins born that we named Jack and Jill. Sadly, about two weeks later, Jill died. A couple days after Jill passed away, Jack started to behave differently. He started getting really sluggish. His mom decided she didn't want to feed him anymore and we knew something was up. We got him on antibiotics immediately and we had to start doing all of his feedings via tube down his esophagus since his mom wasn't feeding him. We were really, really nervous about how this was going to play out because it seemed like Jack was following down the same road as his sister Jill. We fortunately have a great team of veterinarians at Mid-Columbia Vet Clinic. They got Jack over to the clinic and we did an x-ray and it was determined that Jack had pneumonia. Not what you really want for a two-week-old man. We tried to bring Jack into the house and do all his care inside, but he was so distraught and upset to be away from his mom that he just would not settle. He would cry for her and he just wouldn't settle. We felt the stress was too much for him, so we brought him back out into his loafer with his mom. We did all his cares out here. We gave him IV fluids. We gave him all of his tube feedings and his medications out here with his mom. Today, Jack is 24 days old. He is gaining weight little by little, and his mom has decided that she is going to start feeding him again. We have been watching his weights very carefully. Some days he gains, some days he doesn't gain. He does seem pretty bright and lively, a lot better than he was initially. Um, any prayers that you have for us and for our little Jack would be very much appreciated. We're very touch and go right now, but optimistic. Thank you to all of you who have contributed to our scholarship fund in memory of Jill. We do have a donation site set up that can be tax deductible. So if you would like to donate to the Jill Memorial Scholarship for students pursuing veterinary careers, you may do that. You can find a link to that in our link in bio. Thanks to all of you so much for all your thoughts and prayers. We appreciate you so much.